The Carnegie Mellon NavLab project brings together computer vision, advanced sensors, high-speed processors, planning, and control to build robot vehicles that drive themselves on roads and cross-country. The project began in 1984 as part of ARPA's Autonomous Land Vehicle Program, the ALV. In the early 80s, most robots were small, slow, indoor vehicles tethered to big computers. The Stanford cart took 15 minutes to map obstacles, plan a path, and move each meter. The CMU Imp and Neptune improved on the cart's top speed, but still moved in short bursts separated by long periods of looking and thinking. In contrast, ARPA's 10-year goals for the ALV were to achieve 80 kilometers per hour on roads and to travel long distances across open terrain. With Interrogator, our first outdoor robot at CMU, we began to make fundamental changes in our approach. Instead of move and stop driving, the Interrogator kept moving continuously. Instead of processing individual images in isolation, the Interrogator processed image streams. New sensors, such as scanning laser rangefinders, gave it capabilities for finding landmarks, avoiding obstacles, and driving in rugged terrain but it could do only one thing at a time at a top speed of a few centimeters per second. The NAV lab built in 1986 was our first self-contained test bed. It had room for onboard generators, onboard sensors, onboard computers, and most importantly, onboard graduate students. Researchers riding on board were in a much better position to observe its behaviors and to debug or modify the programs. They were also highly motivated to get things working correctly. The latest test bed is the NavLab 2, an Army Ambulance Humvee. It has many of the sensors used on earlier vehicles, plus cameras on pan tilt mounts, and three aligned cameras for trinocular stereo vision. The Humvee has high ground clearance for driving on rough terrain and 110 km per hour top speed for highway driving. Computer controlled motors turn the steering wheel and control the brake and throttle. Perception and planning capabilities have evolved with the vehicles. Alvin is the current main road following vision system. Alvin is a neural network which learns to drive by watching a human driver. Using back propagation, Alvin takes about two minutes to learn how to drive on a new type of road. Ten times a second, Alvin digitizes a new image, propagates it through its network, and outputs both a steering direction and a confidence. Alvin can run several nets simultaneously and automatically switches from net to net as the road type changes. Alvin has driven as far as 100 kilometers and at speeds over 110 kilometers per hour. Ranger finds paths through rugged terrain. It takes range images, projects them onto the terrain, and builds Cartesian elevation maps. Then it simulates the vehicle driving along potential paths and checks at each increment whether the vehicle would be on too steep a slope, on too big a step, or hung up on an obstruction. Ranger has driven the vehicle for 16 kilometers on our test course. Ganesha is an obstacle mapping module. Its input is positions of obstacles, either directly sensed by sonar and radar, or detected from stereo and radar data. Ganesha keeps track of obstacle positions as the vehicle moves and updates their confidence through multiple observations. The map can then be used to bring the vehicle to a halt or to steer the vehicle around an obstacle or to perform complex maneuvers such as autonomous parallel parking. Smarty and D-Star find and follow cross-country routes. D-Star plans a route using A-Star search. As the vehicle drives, Smarty finds obstacles using Ganesha's map, steers the vehicle around them, and passes the obstacles to D-Star. D-Star adds the new obstacles to its global map and replans the optimal path. Rather than do a complete new A-star search, D-star examines only the nodes that must be modified to guarantee that it finds the new optimal path. D-star and Smarty start with an empty map, pick their way through an obstacle field to the goal, then return along a much more efficient path using the map built on the outbound trip. Using Stripe, an operator can teleoperate the vehicle over a low bandwidth radio link where it takes several seconds to transmit each image. Such a long delay makes it impossible to drive a vehicle using standard controls. Instead, the user points in the image to where the vehicle should go, and Stripe steers the vehicle along that trajectory. Stripe maintains a model of where the vehicle was when the image was captured, 
how far it has moved, and how the terrain has pitched and rolled so it can accurately project the user's selected points onto the ground and servo the vehicle steering. Other NavLab modules include Raccoon, which follows a lead vehicle by taillight tracking, YARF, which tracks lines and detects intersections, and Panacea, which controls a pan-tilt mount to see around curves. We integrate sets of modules into systems using DAM, the distributed architecture for mobile navigation. The individual modules share no common representation or structure. Some are reactive, processing only current sensor data. Others have internal local maps. Others consult the global map. DAM provides output functions that turn each of these modules into a behavior. Several times a second, each module evaluates a set of arcs that the vehicle could follow, voting for or against each arc based on that module's expertise. An arbiter combines the votes and determines the best overall trajectory. The whole architecture is supervised by sausages, which represents the vehicle's mission in a link structure. Sausages watches the map, sends parameter updates to modules, and changes the arbiter's weights. The overall architecture provides real-time decentralized sensor processing, coordinated and consistent decision making, and higher level intelligent execution monitoring. The 10-year goals of the ALV program have been met. NavLab technology is being integrated with specialized planners and sensors to demonstrate practical missions, and a new project funded by the Department of Transportation is investigating NavLab technology for preventing highway accidents. As basic driving capabilities mature, the NavLab continues to provide new opportunities, both for applications and for continued research in perception, planning, and intelligent robot systems.